Welcome back, amazing people. Here we are. We're going to finish off this piece of neurographic art with our Zentangle bits. Now, I'm going to have, if you haven't had it handed out already, I'm going to hand out a whole bunch of sheets that show you a whole bunch of different patterns called all different kinds of lines. And you are going to choose a couple of pieces that you want. Remember, looking at the rubric, uh, you may need either five or six of each pattern to be filled in. So please make sure you do that. What we're going to do here is I'm going to start off with my ultra fine Sharpie and I'm going to go with six. I'm going to start off with one of my patterns here and just kind of start filling it in. I'm just going to do a simple wiggly line, but I'm going to make it look a little bit more interesting. Then just a wiggly line here. I'll show you in just a moment. Probably should have picked a smaller area to show you as a sample, but I did not. And that's okay. What I like to do is I like to pick out one area that's lighter and one area that's darker, usually staying all with the same colors so it has some sort of continuity to it and makes it look real good all right so i have that there so now i'm going to start off doing wiggly lines going vertically and this helps me keep a unique little pattern going makes it look really interesting fills it in Nothing too really crazy, but still kind of cool looking. Gives you that nice waffle weave pattern. It's like cheesecloth. If you don't know what cheesecloth, it's what people use in certain recipes for baking. And you can also make ghosts out of them at Halloween time if you do Halloween. They're kind of cool. All right, so as you can see here, I have done smooth lines. They're looking good. My Zentangle pattern is looking fancy and happy. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause the video and come back and show you when I have done all of my orange pieces giving it that kind of texture. All right, so I'm gonna pause. All right, as you can see here, I have done six, one, two, three, four, five, six different areas with that pattern. And so now I'm actually going to work on the next pattern. Again, like I said, I like to choose one bright area and one dark area to start off with at least. So for this one here, I'm going to start with some bigger lines going like this. And then on the opposite. Again, opposite. So that I can kind of get this pattern going all the way across. All right, so I have that to start off with. And then I'm going to kind of come up and go again. Kind of touching each time it goes to that point. And I am going to continue doing that on both sides. So I have the pattern that I want. Zentangles are not about rushing again. It's about having that beautiful line that goes through. Seeing what we come up with. It turns out really pretty. All right. I will show you the final piece when we're all done with this. Um, remember, you only have to have two Zentangle patterns in it, and it will turn out absolutely wonderful. I look forward to seeing how your work turns out. Uh, if you have any questions, holler at me. Back 
for one more minute to show you that I added a total of three different Zentangle patterns. I have this one, this one, and this one. Helps balance it out, really makes me pleased with the piece. I look forward to seeing your work.